What's going on everybody? Today we're going to cover the Bomar nose button. Uh, I've never shot a nose button. I do not shoot a kisser button. I really don't like that thing in the corner of my uh, mouth there. But uh thought, hey, if there's something here that can make me a little bit more accurate, let's give it a try. I've seen a lot of great success stories using the nose button, and I know a lot of great shooters that shoot the nose button. So, yeah, we're going to throw it on my bow here and uh, see what we think about it. So, in the package here, there's uh, there's two sizes. It looks like a large size and a small size. I'm going to put the small on there first, um, just because I don't like too much pressure on my bowstring. But, yeah, I'm going to tie it on. I'll show you guys how I'm going to tie it on. We'll step outside, take a couple shots with it, and see what we think. So, uh, yeah, let's get after it. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's a little slit right here on the nose button, and you just slide it right over your uh, right over your bowstring. So you want the spiky side facing down towards your bottom cam. So you just slide it on there like that. It's not crazy tight, and it's not super loose. You can still move it up and down your string, so you can uh, set it. So. I'm going to go ahead and draw my bow back, make sure it's hitting my face the way I want it to, and then I'm going to tie it in. But uh, one great thing about this that I didn't cover at the beginning is you do not need a bow press. You don't have to have a bow press to tie this in, so let's get tied in. Perfect. Oh, good Alright, so three to four wrap constrictor knot on the nose button. There's four, and then we're going to take this tail and we're going to run it straight up that slit against the string. It's over and I'm gonna cinch it down. I'm gonna check it one more time and I'm gonna cut it and burn it. Let's get this go. It'll work. So if you guys saw there, I was closing my eyes so I could get to my comfortable anchor point. Um, I do this with my peep too. I close my eyes, get comfortable, open my eyes. That's where my peep's going. I said the same thing with the nose button, so I'm not reaching for the peep or reaching for the nose button. So that's exactly where I want it. I'm going to cut it and burn it. And uh, another thing that Josh Bomar said is you want one of these spikes in line with the center of your peep sight. So when you're at full draw and you're looking down your peep, you have one of those spikes touching your nose that gets even more accurate so that whole uh, button's not touching your nose, it's just a single spike. So that's what I'm going to do now, cut it and burn it and go get some shots in. All right guys, so we had to wait for some weather to move out, so I got the target set up in my backyard, and we're gonna test out the nose button. Let's see what I think about it, I'm pretty excited. Um, like I said earlier, if there's something that can make me more accurate, I'm definitely gonna give it a try. So let's, uh, let's get this shooting and see what we think about it. All right, first impression, I really like it. Um, I like where I put my nose on the string normally is exactly where I put the nose button. And like I said, that's probably the biggest part to setting this up is ensuring that it's in the right place so you're not reaching for your peep or reaching for your nose button. And that's perfect with my anchor point with where my nose usually goes on the string. So I really like that a lot. And like I said, I put that single spike to where it will touch the center of my nose and it's lined up with the center of my peep so it makes a more accurate anchor point. So I'm gonna keep shooting it.
All right, guys, so my conclusion of the Bomar nose button is I absolutely love it. I only took 20 or 30 shots with it uh, just for this video, but um, I love getting that same sight picture every single time. And I haven't used an Anchor Point 8 in a very long time, and I'm really glad that uh, Bomar came out and designed this product. Man, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, one thing, ensure that it is set up properly to your face, meaning where your string normally hits your nose, that's where your nose button should be. So you're not reaching for the peep or reaching for the nose button. But overall, man, awesome product. Like I said earlier, if it can make you that much more accurate, give it a shot. Uh, one of the highlights about this product is you don't need a bow press. You don't need a pro shop to set it up. Just watch a couple of videos online. Watch this video and uh, show you how to tie it in. And you can order it off Amazon, buy it at your local pro shop, and throw it on yourself and get used to it. But awesome product and I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can stay updated every time I put up a new video. And hunting season's coming up. I think I got a week and a half until my velvet hunt and I'm super excited. And uh, yeah, lay down some great footage for you guys this year. So thank you so much for watching Harvest Time Outdoors.